2020 Student Government Association, who will introduce Benjamin Lloyd Crump, our commencement speaker for today. Elizabeth. Humble salutations. Welcome, family and friends, Lincoln University alum, esteemed guests, faculty and staff, the Lincoln University Board of Trustees and Administration. First, I want to offer congratulations to my tribe, the visionary class of 2020. Though it's one year and 18 days late, <laughs> we finally get to walk across the stage. <laughs> I am Elizabeth Bellevue, the 2019-2020 Student Government Association President and a pre-law certificate. Currently, I am a graduate student at the George Washington University in Washington, DC. Moved by the crowd and the speeches by those in attendance especially the family members of those dealing with so many injustices, including deaths by the hands of law enforcement. And so, it is with this backdrop I stand before you with the greatest honor of introducing our commencement speaker and one of the nation's foremost lawyers and advocates for just social justice, Attorney Benjamin Crump. As we read his impressive bio, we see that this native of Lumberton, North Carolina, and a two-time graduate of Florida State University, has achieved many great accomplishments and honors. Much like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Lincoln's own alum, the late Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, the unfortunate events of the year 2020 means that our distinguished speaker has sealed his rightful place in history. Attorney Crump has successfully battled to protect constitutional rights at the local, state, and federal levels, using his advocacy skills to provide a voice to those long silenced. He has represented clients in some of the most high profile cases in the United States, including Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown, who would have turned 25 yesterday. He is currently representing the family of George Floyd. May we all remember them and the lives that they lived. Now, without further ado, let us all rise and welcome a prominent figure in American history, Attorney Benjamin Crump. Thank you, President Bellevue. And to President Brenda Allen and your August Board of Trustees and the entire Lincoln University family, I am so very honored to be here to evidence the matriculation of the class of 2020 at Lincoln University. The great I just want you all to know, class of 2020, I'm going live on Instagram and Facebook and everything because I want there to be objective evidence that I acknowledge two things of great significance as I make this argument this afternoon. One, I want to document that you all helped us during this past unprecedented year of 2020 as being co-counsels 
for me and my legal team by posting, texting, protesting, and marching for us to fight for justice for the family of Ahmaud Aubrey, who was lynched yeah. for jogging while black, yeah. not in 1940 and 1950, but in 2020 in Brunswick, Georgia. And certainly, you all, we could not have recognized this sister on the international level without your help, Lincoln University, and that is our sister, Breonna Taylor, who was executed in the sanctity of her own apartment when police busted open her front door at one in the morning, executing uh, unnecessary, uh, unjustifiable, uh, unlawful, and uh, unconstitutional, and an illegal yeah. no-knock search warrant, yeah. and mutilated her body with six bullets while she was practically naked. And absolutely, young people in Lincoln University, without your help in fighting in the court of public opinion, we would have never got accountability in the court of law withholding Officer Derek Chauvin guilty, guilty, guilty for the torture of George Floyd while well, he put his knee on his neck for nine minutes and 29 seconds. So I want it to be documented for the annals of history that it was you young people who made sure that we have a new precedent in America that nobody is above the law. And when we say liberty and justice for all, we mean all of us, black people, Hispanic people, Native people, all of us when we say equal justice under the law. So thank you, you great Lincoln University. Thank you. <laughs> now, I would be remiss as I make this second argument that pertains directly to you. The great Lincoln University here in the state of Pennsylvania, two of the greatest, most prolific intellectuals that the world has ever known. And I did not say two of the greatest African-American intellectual minds, I am saying two of the greatest intellectual minds that the world has ever known. And my personal hero, Justice Thurgood Marshall, and his road dog, my frat brother, Poet Langston Hughes. <laughs> Without a doubt, two of the most brilliant human beings to ever walk the face of the earth. And I might add for the record that it was my fraternity brother, the Omega, Langston Hughes, who had to argue for the Alpha brother, Thurgood Marshall, who had been suspended for messing around with them alphas oh. to get back reinstated in Lincoln University so he could go on and change the course of history in the United States of America. Amen? So, y'all know it was the Omega saving the alpha. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it is that Lincoln University who produced those two incredible intellectuals that is the same Lincoln University that have produced the best and the brightest, 
minds that we have to offer America the best and the brightest that we have to offer the future. And you, the graduating class of 2020, whatever Nathan Hughes had propelled in them, whatever Thurgood Marshall had in propelled into him walking these hallowed grounds of Lincoln University, I submit, ladies and gentlemen of this jury, is the same thing that Lincoln University produced in you. And it is you who will change the course of the world, just like your fellow alumnus changed the course of the world. So as we absorb this liquid sunshine, let me make the concluding points of my argument today. And that is that you all truly are the best and brightest. You all have no idea just the things you are going to do in this world during your lifetime. You all can't even fathom how much influence, how resourceful, how skilled you all are going to be at uplifting our people. You all have to understand that as my grandmother taught me, you all are the answers to our ancestors who were in the cotton fields during slavery, who prayed for this day when their great-great-grandchildren would be able to get the great education that Lincoln University, one of the greatest universities on planet Earth, has to offer. And so you all have to remember that you all have this power and you have this influence. And as Harry Belafonte told me, Scrappy, and he told the parents of Trayvon Martin in 2012 at the NAACP Image Awards, influence means nothing if you don't use it when it matters most. So I thank you for using it for Brianna. I thank you for using it for Maude Aubrey. I thank you for using it for George Floyd. I thank you for using it for all of those hashtags that nobody ever talked about, but they mattered because black lives matter. And so as you get ready to go out into the world, just know it won't be easy. My mother, a Madam Trustee Braswell, taught me that, baby, life ain't fair. She said, life is hard. You make it fair by what you bring to the table. And if you don't bring anything to the table, she said, don't expect anybody to let you sit down at the table. Well, it is documented today, Lincoln University, that you all are bringing something to the table. You are bringing that degree. As y'all walk across this stage today, and I know, don't it seem like such a long time that you said, man, one day I'm gonna walk across this stage. Well, your mothers and fathers and your family, they prayed for this day even before you got to college. And can we acknowledge them? Because this is the day you all will walk across the stage and their prayers will be answered. Yeah. Yeah. And Brother Van Corbin, it is very important to know that this graduating class have to remember that education is of no significance if you keep it amongst the educated. So you have to take this great Lincoln University education that you received and you have to take it back to the hood. You have to take it back and share this education with Junebug and Shaniqua and everybody else who you went to school with, maybe in your family, all of those who knew that college was not going to be for them, but yet they prayed for you 
to get that college education because they knew that if you got that college education, that it would help all of us have a better position in life. So take that education back home. Don't keep it to yourself. Graduating class of 2020, our people need you to go take that education and help uplift the culture. And in conclusion, you all have to understand that just like people fought for your future here today, you now have the obligation with this great education that Lincoln University has bestowed upon you to go out and fight for the future of the next generation of young black people in America. And you